Inside's Chris Horn went to a local vape shop that thinks a ban is going too far, Chris. Yeah, the owner says that he's not against regulation per se, but when it gets the regulation gets so far to a prohibition, then you've got adults that can't make their own choices. And that's the key word, adults. Flavored vapes are enormously popular with adults, especially people who are trying to transition away from smoking. We have fruity flavors, we have candy style flavors, we have dessert flavors. The owner of Papa Joe's, a chain of five smoke shops here and in Harrisonburg, says vaping is not kid stuff and should not be kid stuff. He says the proposed ban on flavored vapes would affect adults trying to quit cigarettes. We have thousands of customers and so do many other vape shops in the country. Have, they have cu customers who are former smokers of legal age that rely on their flavored juices. Chanelli says vaping is a personal choice and adults should be able to make that choice. But if you're under 21, you don't have the choice of buying vapes of any kind at Papa Joe's. I, I mean, I think children shouldn't be doing it. I mean, that's definitely one. We're, a, we're an age restricted store, so we don't sell to minors. Schools are trying to crack down on vaping in bathrooms and locker rooms. The CDC reports nearly 400 cases of lung illness connected to vaping, with cases in Virginia, North Carolina, and 34 other states. Vaping in general is not regulated, but Chinelli says that should change. I think it should be regulated. I think, uh, I think it's a good alternative to, than smoking cigarettes. Otherwise, Chinelli says an underground flavored vape market will emerge, and people will have no idea what they are getting or what they are inhaling into their bodies. Well, the CDC says it does not yet know the specific cause of the lung disease outbreak and has not identified any single product or device that is linked to all cases. And right now, if the administration's plan would go forward on its current timeline, flavored vapes could be banned before the end of this year. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.